All right. Okay, you'll be like, holy shit, that was worth it. It's going to be some free money for CK, okay. I guess. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, and Ziki, for Ziki it will be very worth it, but you will still be a mate. It will still be worth it for you. Yeah. Well, no, I'm actually if if it is announced, I'll be practicing for that like hardcore. Your There's peak. nothing. Yeah, it's summer anyways. There's not much to do anyway. But it is gonna happen like this summer, or is it gonna like? Is it gonna be after summer? Uh, it will. Well, summer's like too... summer's like basically over, like in yeah. two weeks. So. Is that too specific of a question? <laughs> I just realized that I was like, wait a minute. That <laughs> okay, you don't need to answer that. I, I see the thing. I, I basically there's no set date because obviously we're still working on stuff. Mm. But I, I'm pretty sure I can say, guarantee it's like at least this year. Okay. I, 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 I think I can say that. Like I, yeah. like I, I don't want to promise that because the, the it's not a hundred percent guaranteed. But I'm pretty sure it'll be at least this year. So. That's good. And like uh. All the like old school players have like a taste of for Boober again, so I'm sure a lot of them are gonna be playing. Uh yeah, that is a good point. Yeah. It's good timings. Alright, I'm just waiting for basically for confirmation. Well, I'm waiting for Technics and then for confirmation that we can start. Okay, Technics is ready. Alright, let me add him. Jesus Christ. What? You must be Korean, dude. That Me? keyboard spam. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's just like regular that typing, some, dude. That was some sick Asian spam. <laughs> dude, that's just like normal typing sounds. <laughs> My keyboard's just really loud. Yeah. Hold on, wait, let me. Alright. Uh, you have blue switches? Uh, I have red. red? Yeah. Reds are good. Alright, adding the Technics. All right, we have a go for starting the finals. I'm actually in replay now. Cap, turning up. Hopefully, I don't oh. get latency with Technics. Hey, oh, dude. Nice. Hey, what's up, dude? Ah, uh, latency, latency again. Do you hear me well? Uh, it's a little bit choppy, I think. A little bit choppy. We have to lab break. It's yeah. Laggy. All right, go That's, host. I should All work right. my non choppy skills. <laughs> All right, TT one, TT uh, TT one one techniques and sale. Yep. Hello, hello everybody. Hey guys, techniques is now in the call. In case you didn't hear me the first five times, uh, good old techniques, the mega gosu Bulgarian Zerg player. Welcome to the stream. Well, Did thanks, you... thanks for thanks for having me. So I just came back for some indoor climbing. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. So could you please tell me some? <laughs> Already happened into the tournament. Okay, you know what the tournament is, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Also, wait, dude, TT1, you're breathing like really loud into your mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like basically my mouth, I'm eating it. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, why is Mont Dragon or Area Door not in the finals? What's going on? They got knocked out, dude. Cloud took out he 2 would Mondi. Wow. Zerk needs more buffs. That's the yeah. problem. Dude. And and Hapro took out Area Door. So and these guys are in the finals, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, David Kim needs to balance the uh, war. He does. Excellent, yeah. Uh, w wait, Mana won the other semifinal, right? Uh, no, Haypro beat Mana. Oh. So it's Cloud right. versus Haypro in the final. Okay, okay. Yeah. Technics, he's so out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving like a tournament recap right now. <laughs> well, well, I was just taking a shower, and I was thinking that. There is no way that Mana would lose, so I was like, Mana is the clear favorite to win this. <laughs> There's no way he's going to lose any game. Dude, the... Mana, oh. yeah, Mana is fucking good. Dude, Mana I linked you the bracket, man. You can check it out. If and Mana then, practiced more... You guys more... telling me that Hate Roll raped the shit out of him. Yes. So, so I, I really don't know who to root for. Zerg, man. You gotta, you gotta root You have your, to root uh... for Zerg, because you, you got, we got two Protoss already here. Yeah, or you can like join the bandwagon. Yeah. Us. Oh wait, am I host? Okay, hold on, let me host again. Yeah. Did Technus? Did you did you join my game when I made? Uh, did did I what? Did you join my game when I made? It was oh, a lot break. No. No. All right. TT one one. You have to join again, Sale, I guess. D yeah. Wait. Can you like host on a non uh uh bug map? 
Oh, you keep getting disconnected, my bad. Yeah, so I think that like probably destroys the lab break. Oh my god, I don't think I can join your game. Oh my god, I can't join your game. Dude, Technics host! Well, you were unable to, to join the game you have selected was not found. Shit. Yeah, oh. I didn't host. Just join oh. TT11, it should work. I made a, I made a different map. Dude, I, I'm getting latency on your game, TT1. That's fine, like if I, you, I think I'm if... joining right now. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay, I'll host now then. Uh, latency is too high. It's Jesus easy. Christ, so ghetto. Okay, guys, go say slash one. Okay. All right, TT1's in. God damn it. This Technics, let's go. I can't work in, with these conditions. Say <laughs> password one. Yeah. God, am I so good at guessing password. And let me see too high. Oh god! I knew it. We've got two. Okay, just join TT11. Technics, wait up. I'm gonna host. Should I try to make? No, no. Oh, you don't have the replays, do you? No, dude, Technics just, Technics just host, and maybe we can both join, and then like that'll just break all the latency. Okay, let me guys first add you in my... In the user does not exist. First, let me remove some... some guys. Some scrubs. Yeah, but by the way, viewers, this is like the true Brutal experience. This is not, you know... This is real talk? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, if you wanted to know what Brutal is really like, this is it. That's how it is. Yeah. So, so what, what, you know, what, we, we, just, we, we just decided to share that experience with you guys in case, you know, you yeah. haven't allowed it recently. We call people scrubs. <laughs> Alright, so... Which is the first map? Dude, just, just, just host a random a game. game. Yeah. It's we're doing it from replays actually, so uh, yeah. So I need to host, but we just need you to host a game to lab break. I have some test one. If this doesn't work, I'll just send the replays to one of you guys. Okay, I just host, I can't host a replay. And D D two password two. All right, all right. We can both join this. Okay, so that'll fix it. Yes. Go oh, get an internet for the win. Yes. <laughs> well done, Technics. That's why. That's why actually why we brought you on the stream. We don't, yeah. we don't actually need you to talk about Zerg, we just need you to lap break. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, say slash one, say slash one. Alright. Say one. So yes! Technic, you're active right now? You're still putting StarCraft on? Well, I'm not actually active. I have like 10 games total so far this year, but I'm still one of the best outside Korea. <laughs> <laughs> nice confidence, I like that. We're... At We're least in my opinion. At least in my opinion. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I, I agree though. I definitely agree. Who are All the right. best players right now in the scene? I'm on uh, the seventh side and I can just play three games and get back in shape real quick. <laughs> and you know, Koreans, people Korean pro gamers just stop playing right now and we just play in six months. I think I'll beat the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, Alright. All right, all right. Cloud is at the bottom left as the red Protoss. Hey Pro is at uh, the top right as the teal Zerg. This is game one of the finals. It is a best of five, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that we'll be casting here for you with this awesome triple cast with TT1 and Technic. So we got some representation for both races. Yeah, so it's a uh, blue storm. It's a, uh, I don't know. Is this like a Zerg fear map you think or Proto? I think it's pretty balanced, honestly. I think walling is a pain in the ass, like it is on Destination. Nah, uh, I like uh, I find it pretty easy to wall off on. Really? How do you yeah. do it? Uh, Cloud's pylon is good. Like he's gonna have a good wall off right now. I think okay. that is the best uh, pylon positioning. Well, that Cloud made right now. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna have a lot of room for cannons as well. So yeah, the forge is gonna go like on the on the like cliff area. Yeah. Like it's gonna go on top of that, and he's gonna have a lot of room for cannons. Is is the forge tight oh. with the cliff though? Yeah, it's linked Hey pro. Be sure. Hey pro, some chatter is going on right now. Nine pool with the gas. With speed, so he's gonna go for a run by. See, see, hey pro, hey pro thinks like I do. He's like, there's no way he's gonna make a good wall on this map. Yeah, balls. Please. Clouds a solid player, so he, like, he's gonna make two cannons when he scouts this. Do people still make three cannons? Like, you go two cannons, Nexus, and then you make a third cannon? 
Uh, if you if you scout uh, nine full speed, I think you do, or at least I've seen it several times. Like, and you, if you put this third cannon like slightly back and just bait them into the run by, and then there's like third cannon, it's like actually really good. And I've also seen people make the third cannon inside their main base, like yeah, 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 yeah. In case the run by happens, like there's gonna be a backup cannon. Yep. I think third cannon is pretty okay on this map. It just it's so wide. Yeah. It's okay yeah. To, to spend some money on some yeah. badass cannon that shoots everything. Yeah, and cloud uh, double cannon before uh, Nexus, which is the right decision, obviously. Yep. Oh, that's the manly second pylon. He's going for some heavy mineral build. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. this probe might die though. Back in the days, back in the days, Mon Dragon was always playing some gas heavy style. And I was always like, what? Why do you need gas for? Just, just spend some minerals. And, M Mon Dragon you know, played gas heavy or mineral heavy? Gas heavy, gas heavy. Observers, Protoss, he was like always. Uh, catching that third expansion with the gas station, and I was like always taking non gas station expansions. And I was like, oh, okay. Why is this guy needing gas? Uh. <laughs> wow, Cloud is uh, super paranoid. He brought two probes before making a nexus. Oh, he's going for the third cannon inside his main base. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So the downside of this is if Hapro makes a lot of links and just attacks a natural and kills his cannons, the game's over. Yeah. But if he goes for a run by, um, Cloud is gonna have a good advantage because the Zerglings are gonna do anything in the main. All right, let's see. Speed is now finished. Is he gonna go for it? The Overlord going in first to tank a few shots. He tanks the first shots. The links He's are going in. Cannon. He's going for the run by, but it's completely tight. It's tight. <laughs> sick. sick, sick, sick. Nice play by Cloud. Wow. And he's oh, gonna get the Overlord. Oh my god, this is a sure luck win for Cloud right here. <laughs> sure luck, okay. I really cannot imagine he ever loses from, from this position. I really hope I don't jinx him or something. But I believe that's it. But let's see. Let's see if Hypro pulls some, you know, Bulgarian Zerg. Yeah. Dude, did you watch uh, Lamer's game yesterday against Preddy, where he got like contained on one base for like, 20 minutes and then he almost won? Patak. Yeah. yeah. I was oh, sorry, Patak. Patak, not <laughs> Patak, my bad. You're yeah, casting I've been watching like... them and I remember no more than you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sick game. Actually, uh, we met with Lola, with Wallace, yesterday, and he told me about that game and I was like, you. Lamer is so good, but I think he lost a lot of games, right? Uh, yeah, well, he didn't make it to the round of eight, so yeah, he lost in the group stage. Lamer was always a really solid player, even back in the day. Dude, TT1, you sound really quiet suddenly. I don't know why. Oh, my mic's maybe far away. All yeah, because right. you were better? breathing too loud, you just like moved it away. Yeah, it's like. So we have 18 supply Zerg five minutes into the game. That's not really good. No. It is not. Protoss at 31 and uh, taking up just fine. He's got a Stargate on the way. Lair yeah. only halfway. Oh, oh Lair canceled. Lair it's can a fake. Oh, smart play. Is. I think Hapro knows that he's super behind in that game and he's going to try to do some. He has to take a gamble right now. Oh, Cloud, third cannon. You see how fucking advanced this is right now? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, these guys are smart. Hapro, he knows that he has to take a gamble. And Cloud, he knows that like if he just survives, he's gonna have a good lead. So he's, you know, he's like, all right, I'll make a third cannon. You know, I'm not gonna risk it. That is ridiculously smart. It's also he's going uh, plus one stairs, so I think that's also part of the reason why he's done that, it's because he knows yeah. his ground army is gonna be really weak in the beginning. Um, but damn, that is really smart play. You're absolutely right. Yeah. It's like the, the third can cannon is like game for second time. Yeah. <laughs> It seals, it seals the game, I think. Yeah. We'll have to see though, like, it depends if uh, he scouts the Hydras, like, really fast, and oh. is he getting, he's getting speed yeah. instead of range. Is that normal? I, he has to wait for both upgrades then, right? No, I don't think he has enough time to wait but, for both. But but if he goes with just speed and no range, that's, that's, that's just weak, isn't it? Like, I... Yeah, I guess he just wants to rally as fast as possible, but Cloud, he's sending out the Zelda. Oh, right he now. sees. Yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna build cannons. Yeah. Already a fourth cannon coming up anyways. There's the Stone Cold 5, 5 and 6 seconds and 7 cannon. Yeah. 
Well, he gets the four zealots basically for free, but yes, there are indeed extra cannons. Uh, nice new city, by the way, by Cloud. Yeah. He has plenty of room for cannons. Oh no! So many cannons going down in the robo. And so a few yeah. lings die for free as they run through the cannons at the natural. Looks like a Corsair gonna get maybe one Overlord here at the main. Yeah, looks like the Hydra's just gonna ignore it. And if April, uh, if April is like completely hopeless right now, he's gonna go to attack. If he's not, he's gonna make a lair. I really hope he's going to do some crazy damage, but I really don't see how this is going to happen. Yeah. He's the actually going back. Yeah. Well, he's still making units, so I'm not... Yeah, he's making drones now. So he's gonna transition into a macro game. Hopefully. Perhaps he, he could take a 4th and 5th at the same time. Yeah. For greedy. He could catch that. He either. has to. He has to take a big, 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 big risk. Yeah. To get back into the game. So I guess 4th. Like double expand and just. And create that clouds. Second, second like super expo would be on clouds mineral only. <laughs> <laughs> he builds a. He builds a hatchery at like cloud choke point and he starts sunking in. Hey, all, all the probes have been off the natural for all this time. They just went back. So there were like eight probes off for quite a while. So that's uh, decent for Hey Pro. Meanwhile, though, Cloud going the whole hog. Plus one just about finished now for his Corsairs. Support bay finished as well. Going for that Sarah Reaver. Really, really love it. And hopefully he doesn't just do the defensive Sarah Reaver either. He does like a proper Sarah Reaver. The only thing that Hapro has going for him right now is that Cloud is going for the style. And I know for a fact that he's never practiced the style before. So he's like completely winging it right now. So <laughs> he might like, yeah, he actually might like screw this up. But he, the position he's in right now is still really good. But yeah, that's like the only thing that Hapro has going for him. That is very interesting. Yeah. And of all the things not to practice and try to do, this is probably one of the more risky ones. I mean,. Yeah. So easy to just screw up and miss micro and just lose your shuttle randomly or something. I don't think. Not yeah, I don't think he's gonna do like a timing or anything. He's just gonna get a reaver and take a third, and then like he's just gonna add the reaver to his composition and move out when he has a big army. That I makes think, sense. I, I think he's just going to roll over him with zealots and reavers and corsairs. No, on two base. Yeah, he's already doing three, three gate and leg speed. So. This yeah, he's adding. He's adding gateway now. Yeah. Ah. So heavily car car countering what Paper is doing. No, up to, to up to six gates. Up. He can. Uh, he's either playing safe, going for a safe third, like delaying his third a bit, or he's just gonna do a two base timing. I think both dishes the shivins are uh, fine. To be honest, he does get a shuttle. Ooh, Hapro is going drop though. He's getting drop in his lair, so that's maybe doing some lurker drops to try and get back. The natural, actually, the cannons are all at the front. There's no cannon covering the back of the mineral line, so if he does a nice lurker drop there and maybe one in the main, that could be really, really sweet. I think it's just gonna be like a, a hydra drop because he sees corsairs. Did he see? The, he didn't see the robo, right? He might be thinking that Cloud is going for like Cerever, and he will do like a hydra drop and catch him off guard. Ah. But uh, yeah, when you have plus one Cerever. <laughs> You just, like CD overlords for like a second, it's pretty game. Oh, actually, Cloud is not making zealots now, and he's making some Templars, which is going to yeah. shoot for, for some time. He's playing safe, he's just gonna he's massing up a bit, and then he's gonna take his third. Oh, yeah, perhaps Hapro's only chance is like third link on four expansions, making some miracle drop with two Lurker. Workers on that vulnerable expansion, and then perhaps getting back into the game because you know that third is going to be just too much for him. Yeah. Well, he's got a decent number of lurkers now. Looks like uh, drop is finished. He's now getting speed. I guess he might wait for that before doing something. He's now getting the bottom right base as well because he saw the mineral only. Of course, there's though going to scout that almost as soon as it's been placed. But otherwise, uh, looks like yeah, Cloud just chilling, getting his goon range. Not gonna move out anytime soon. Bit sad that he's not gonna go harass with a reaver, but I guess it's safer to just stay at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, smartly, I, I don't think uh, Cloud uh, <laughs> has seen. Well, I want to say uh, it was smart by Hapro to go for uh, drop first, not show the speed. So yeah, he's gonna hide his like uh, his strat as long as possible. But do you think uh, like? Ha but he has to do damage with the drop, obviously. Do, do you think Hapro might be a bit confused by how late the Overlord speed is, though? Because that's that's like quite late for a normal build, isn't it? Well, 
The overlord speed is just like an indication of like it could just be like he's getting overlord speed because he has four stairs. Yeah. But if he does see overlord speed as well, it's gonna be behind his mind that he might be dropping. Ah, so, okay. Ah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. He's gonna be actively like thinking about drop, drops and stuff, so he might be positioning his corsairs a bit like safer. Uh, but if he doesn't see the, the drop, sorry. I have no idea why, but it just hit me. Hey, pro is going to win this game. <laughs> I really have no idea why that is going to happen. <laughs> oh wow! All right, complete turnaround from Technics, who thought the game was over earlier. He, he has a big like. Uh, he has a super big army. This is still a Stone Cold win for Cloud, but I don't know, you know... If, I, if he attacks bad, like if he A moves and his units like walk in the line into like Lurker Hydra and like he screws up the micro like super 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 bad, Haypro can win, I think, but if Cloud like, oh, he's moving out right now, like as Haypro is dropping, I think. Oh yeah. man, but worst it's timing, drop. the anti-timing, but it's got two lurkers and eight hydras going into the back here, going onto the gateways, the what are they going to go dead. for? Oh my god, he's going for the main nexus, he's going straight onto the nexus right here, the army is actually countering, he's not actually coming back to defend oh. here, the cannon has fallen, the probes aren't even running away, he's not running oh, the probes! Yeah. He's just letting everything die. He's just going for the counterattack for some reason. The Nexus is now being focused by the Hydras. The Probe's gonna run away through the Lurkers, but they're basically all going to die. The Nexus has fallen. He's taken Good the top decisions. left, but wow. Oh, and there's a Lurker drop at the natural as well. This he is can... like, this is an all-in push by Cloud. He has to do something here or else he's gonna lose the game. Yeah. Wow, oh my God, the Reavers oh, are dropping, but they're too far forward. One Reaver gonna get sniped. The second Reaver not quite gonna die though. Don't find there, just make plenty of sunkens. Oh, the zealots! Micro the zealots! Don't send them in! Oh, it loses all the zealots. Alright, so... And right now, Hippro, he just needs to make hydras. Yeah, he's making hydras. Oh my god, dude, the hydras he's in the main are server. still alive. Oh no, did he, he yeah, just he... needs to stay alive right now. He lost the observer, so he can't I even push anymore. Stay alive. Oh man, I think this game is going to get a bit longer. Oh, <laughs> he's getting he's getting archons if April goes right now. It's gonna be bad for Cloud. Oh, oh my camping. god, the natural is still not mining. All the probes are idle. The main is completely gone. He's only mining from the mineral only right now. That is wow. it. 102 supply against 95. Basically even supplies. That's how fast the game can turn around. That is ridiculous. One indecision by Cloud, indecisive play and Hapro snipes his main and defends the counterattack, and he's like back in the game. He has a good advantage. He has a really good back advantage. Back in the game, he's winning the game already. I think. He just needs to kill that Templar Archive. Okay, he already did. And. Oh, does he even. He doesn't even care about his main. He's not even. <laughs> yeah, he's not even gonna save the game. He's all in. He's pure all in with this attack. He's gonna GG right after he loses his units, I think. Oh. So bad. I think we're going to be pretty mad about losing this game. Yeah. This is this is like the worst type of game to lose, especially when it's like the first game of an important series. You're, it, it's gonna be like in the back of his mind, I think. Yep. Looks like finally gonna clean up his main base. One lurker still left. The natural also just went back to mining, but he did get the top left base. And he's sending some probes over there, so he's gonna start mining that. 79 supply against 92. So nice supply lead now. For Hapro, hey just continue to mass up still on his four bases. Looks like uh, starting to go up to Hive as well. He's got his Queen's Nest on the way. So, yeah, well, game completely nice turned. Nice play by Hapro hey to me, honestly. He's playing really solidly and he's doing like, he, like, if he if he did like that Hydra all in, the game would have been over, but he knew that he couldn't bust them and he knew he had like, he had to play from behind. But he uh, he did like the exact thing that he had to do to like, come back into the yeah, game. Yeah, man, he just manly accepted that he has to play from behind and just yeah. you know play the game like a boss. But <laughs> some people when some people were in, when they're in that situation, they're just like fuck it, all right, I'll just all in, and if it doesn't work, then whatever, I'll go on to the next game. But he made like the correct decision and. Yeah, he's back in the game. Well, he has a pretty. He also got some huge look with that timing of the drop because Cloud's army was completely out of position. Out of position, yeah. When I play Protoss on this pop versus Zerg, I hate drops. Yeah. But... Yep. And on Tau Cross when they're like close by air. Fuck, I hate that. <laughs> God damn it, crackling drops. Cracking job, stuff of nightmares. So I just gotta uh, build all your buildings between your natural and your third. Just like have everything there. Just Good build time. like 20 cannons in your main. Five yeah, cannons. or that. 
At least, at least Cloud's not got three, three Corsairs patrolling here to stop any more drops. He doesn't actually see this hatchery being taken though, although it's not like he can actually stop this. But, so the uh, supplies are 110. Supply wise, the game is still pretty even when you look at it. But wow, hey bro, look at his hat. Look at his hatcheries at his third. One, two, three. He has. Four. <laughs> That's six hatcheries at his third. Well, I mean, Pronos should be ahead in supply normally, though, right? For the game to be yeah, even, so. Course. For, like, yeah, for what happened in the game. He's still, like, a little bit, like, in it, but. Supply wise, I don't know which replay are you watching, guys, but, you know, 140 limit for the Zerg is like. Yeah. It's tough to come back. Yeah, hard, hard to especially come back. When, but... Especially when Zerg has. Use many hatcheries and. But but the <laughs> thing is right like now if if uh if Cloud I think can somehow hold the twelve o'clock as well and split the map and just like turtle and go super late game he's gonna be so much he he should be so much more efficient than the Zerg. That's the only way he can win this yeah. game. Yeah. He's, he's like starting off by uh by doing the right thing. He's going for a storm drop. Like he has oh, to be dropping yeah. right now all game long and turtling. Or oh, a drop a drop. Yeah, oh, the natural oh. and he pro side like right away. He's bringing his Zerglings, but yeah. Are gonna oh, do maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. The drop is going in. Storm! Yeah. Nicely oh, done. Drones. What a badass drone. <laughs> yeah. just didn't blink at all. <laughs> oh, when you have, when you have these tiny hatches. Oh, he's going for a timing. He's going for the front as well, but it looks like does not want to run into that lurker field with so many zelts in his force and nothing too much to back him up. He's only got two, three high templars it looks like. Although he does actually have the energy upgrade for them, interestingly. Uh, I believe that actually finished right before the Templar Archives died. He's actually also retaking uh, his main Nexus now that's just finishing up, so can start mining there again. Uh, I actually just completely forgot that was dead. Meanwhile, though, it looks like the final amount is done. Consume is on the way. Yeah. Perhaps he really could split the map. Yeah, that's too. What else can he do? But he's going for an attack again. Oh no, that's, that's not the really best thing he should do. And the Zealots are in front again. Oh man, he's breaking through the bottom side, but there's so many units. Oh my god, there's so much stuff at the rally point. This is gonna smack the Protoss. You gotta run, Protoss! You gotta Look at run! What April's doing. I like how he, he does an A move inside the army. Like, he, he sends the links up like a bit. Yep. So he can get like an ice. Uh, and there are so many. Wow. Completely yeah. destroyed. I, I, like, I was like trying to move the screen around to show how much he's surrounding. It was like going all over the place because Hapro's units were just coming from Hapro, every direction. Hapro engages really well. That's one of his strengths. And his upgrade, upgrades are also really nice, so props about that, you know. Yep, 2-2 two, two uh, against 2-0. Oh. Not forgetting about those is crucial in Zerg versus Protoss and pretty good job on, you know, keeping those Zerglings. Oh, and 3-3 three, three is almost finished. That's pretty cool and I think it's it's going to be even harder for Cloud to do anything from this point. So Technics, what were you saying at the start of the game? <laughs> well... Stone Cold win for Protoss, right? Yeah. Please don't underestimate your race, bro. <laughs> anything can happen. Imba, man. Imba, you know? Imba. It's God, too Imba, God. dude. Nerf Zerg, please. That, that just, you know... Cloud, no. Hey, Pro played well. You have to give him credit for... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to give him credit for making Zerglings, Hydralisks, and Lurkers, you know. <laughs> yeah. So powerful, three units. <laughs> you just make two buildings. Hey guys, it's not over yet, alright? It's you, you see, now you think it's Stone Cold win for Haybro, and then Cloud's gonna like, do like recall the main or something, and just supply instant wise, win. Supply-wise, supply wise, oh well, yeah, god damn it. Haybro has like a 3k, 2k bank, so... You can max out anytime you want. Wow, look at the hatcheries again. The Nexus okay. and some Nexus is going to die, perhaps? No, badass Nexus. Oh, 200 HP left. And for some reason, Cloud's army completely off. Oh, he starts moving. Okay. Cloud, he has to like go for Reavers right now. Pure Reavers. It's like the only thing that he can, that he can do to get back in the game. And so... April started bunking a lot of money. Yeah. Nice. He has to. He has to just like keep playing around with. Oh, he he was just saving for ultras, man. See, he just made like ten ultras at once. Yeah. He can save the eurozone now. Whatever happens, no problem. <laughs> April has the money. <laughs> nice. So ooh, perhaps that is correct. Oh, uh, uh, we got an engagement in the middle of the map. Lurker doing work in the back. A reaver coming in. There's a dark swarm. Drop in the main. 
Protoss in full retreat, and there indeed is another drop going to the main. Four overlords worth of Zerglings. Doesn't look like there's a Defiler this time, but it doesn't even matter. Only a single cannon to defend. Meanwhile, the attack at the front is still going on. Looks like... Cloud is going to win that small engagement, but he's going to lose his entire main. The Cracklings eating all the buildings. Look how fast the gateways die. And GG Good from game. Cloud. Wow. Hey, Pro takes game number one. I feel really sad for Cloud. I'm well played, yeah. We'll have to see how this affects him in the next games. Oh man. Well, see, now obviously he needs to let Hey, Pro get the Stone Cold win in the early game, and then he can win the game. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna happen with Protoss. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're behind, there's like no hope. Is this best of five? It is yeah. best of five. Oh yeah, cool. And it's uh, loser picks the map as well. Destiny. After the end of the game, I was like watching that exit replay screen and I was like, come on dude, click that.